What's up everybody? It's Andrew from Apex Cards. Got a collection buying video here for you that's pretty cool. I uh, just purchased this one today. It's July 1st, 22. And uh, this was one of two collections that I went and saw this week. The first one that I went and saw earlier in the week was a guy who was basically addicted to ripping, had probably spent forty to $60,000 on opening product over the last couple of years and was trying to get twenty grand out of his fantastic modern collection but unfortunately um when you open 60 grand worth of product it's usually worth not 20 grand definitely not 60 grand but anyway i'm not a buyer for 20 grand collections anyway um but i just told him hey the best thing you can do if you're not willing to list these on ebay which he, he was an older gentleman and, it, and he wasn't was to put them on the uh, comc so i kind of gave him a rundown of how to do that but Anyway, you're going to run into those from time to time when you're out sourcing uh, or when you come across leads for collections, but that one didn't pan out. However, the second collection that I went and saw this week did pan out, and I'm about to show it to you, and there is some fantastic stuff in here. Um, this lady, it was an older lady, probably in her 70s, yes, definitely in her 70s, called me, and she actually emailed me first. She got my email from the, uh, the flea mall booth, um, which... I forgot to mention that I that I post my contact information in the flea mall booth and people commonly reach out to me, hey, I've got cars to sell. And uh, most of the time those leads are no good, but sometimes the leads are fantastic. And so I'll show you kind of the scale of this collection here. Uh, a lot of it was in binders. Um, then there were these uh, plastic boxes here, which uh, mainly are commons. And there's some uh, NASCAR, uh, like die cast cars in there. Um, there's this whole box, which is mainly a box of commons. I just kind of boxed all this stuff up. I haven't gone through all of these. Um, and then there were all of these albums and, you know, a 3000 or sorry, a 4,000 count box and a 2000 count box there. Um, all of this stuff here as well. Um, so we're going to kind of go through this. Um, believe me, there is some cool stuff in here. I'm going to start this video off with a bit of a bang. Let's see if we can get our camera level here. Um, so anyway, let me tell you about this guy. So this was a gentleman who had passed away, uh, and his, uh, sister and brother were trying to sell off his collection. And, uh, the majority of what he collected was not in fact cars. I mean, they took me into a room, it was in a warehouse and there were hundreds, if not thousands of die cast NASCARs and models, models as well, like model planes, model trains, model you know, like the models you buy from a little model shop or even maybe from Walmart and you put together little plastic cars and stuff. So there was a lot of that. All of them had been put together and the stuff that had, was still new in box, they they said they had already sold. But the whole NASCAR die cast collection was still available for sale. But I've got enough problems with these cars. I can't buy, buy you know, a warehouse full of, uh, you know, NASCAR cars. So anyway... um did y'all see that spider over there? Oh my God, he's coming after me. Okay, that was a little weird, sorry. Just saw that spider out of the corner of my eye. We'll keep an eye on that sucker. There he is on those cards there. That's just some bulk back there. Man, death from above, you gotta watch that. Um, out here in the garage, bro, you never know when they're gonna sneak up on you. But anyway, let's get into this collection here. Let's start off with a bang. Look at this bad boy right here. Woo! 2002 Tom Brady Hot Materials Fleer 2002. I was going through the collection and I saw this bad boy. I'm like, oh my God, there's going to be a damn Brady rookie in here. I don't think there actually is a Brady rookie in here. In fact, this is um, the only Brady that appears to be this old. But still, this is about a $150 card right here. Um, real excited to see this one um, in the collection. And um, one, another a banger that I didn't see is this bad boy here. Look at this thing. Now, this is fairly modern card. This gentleman had died just recently. He was 70 years old, they said. A lifetime uh, collector, although I, I don't see much um, vintage stuff in here. But he was heavy into cards. And look at this Jalen Hurts here. Big Alabama fan and um, big NASCAR fan as well, which we'll see. But this is here out of 35. This is a... Uh, RPA, Rookie Patch Auto of Jalen Hurts in the Sooners uniform. So uh, this is, uh, I don't know, two two fifty for this card here. So uh, really good stuff. There were a lot of uh, patches and autographs, especially NASCAR autographs, which we'll get into. 
um, and uh, just a, a fantastic collection. So anyway, let's go through some of these um, patches, and I've pulled these out of a binder. A lot of this stuff was in binders. I haven't uh, priced these or gone through these, but um, so you're not going to see any crazy players besides that uh, that Brady that I, I showed you there. But you know, there's some good stuff in this collection. Lamar Jackson there from 2019. So he was buying product all the way up to 2021, as far as I can tell. Um, you know, this kind of stuff. A lot of patches. He was opening a lot of retail, it looks like. Let's see here. DK Metcalf here. You know, some good stuff here. Dante Pettis. This thing, this card's got some weight to it. This is some kind of like metallic coin here. Calvin Johnson, it's a Topps card. So what year is this from if it's made by Topps here? It's going to be a 2014, okay. Um, Easton Stick. Uh, I just pulled out all of the, um, the patches out of this section that I found. Jamal Lewis patch here, that's fairly old. You know, oh boy, John Elway patch. I had not seen that. That's pretty dope. I'm going to set that in the, the banger pile there. Randall Cunningham, Atkins, Christian Kirk. Let's see who else. Ellington, Marquise Lee, Matt Barkley. And this is a fairly interesting card. It's like a ticket down here and uh, a patch up here at the top. Antonio Bryant, Cowboys. Um, let's look at a few more before we move along. At least finish the stack here. This was a big chunk of all the patches that were in here. This is numbered out of 199, Andy Dalton. You know, out of 299, Coles. Rashad Green. I wish that was a Brady. It's Garoppolo. Let me make sure I'm keeping this all on camera. My, my bad, guys. Uh, let's see. Um, anyway. Yeah, so I'm going to go through all of this, of course, but uh, pretty satisfied with this, this collection. Let's go to this Alabama binder here. Let me zoom out a little bit because we need to, I need you guys to see this. Let's see what we can do. This Alabama binder is pretty dope. I'm going to try and put it right there, move this big thing out of the way. This is all NASCAR here. We're going to look at that in a second. Um, the majority of this stuff is NASCAR. It's only NASCAR and football. So he was not a, a baseball card collector or a uh, basketball card collector. Not at all. So um, there are none in the collection. But let's take a look at this here. Oh, goodness. Look out. Having major problems with the camera. Okay. Let's take a look here. So this uh, obviously is an Alabama binder. I'm in Alabama, so you're going to get a lot of this. This is uh, all Alabama players in this um, uh, this binder here. There's also some Polaroids here of, uh, you know, some Alabama coaches or, uh, sorry, players. Uh, what's his name? Damn, what's his name? It's on the tip of my tongue. Some other stuff. This Landon Collins thing. Uh, also, some receipts in here where he was buying cards. He was actually buying cards from a flea mall, which is kind of interesting. Uh, but we got some vintage stuff here, a couple vintage cards. But these are, uh, you know, Namath. Oh, that was Joe Namath. That's who that was. Okay, so, um, yeah, so we've got all Alabama players here. You can see he was obviously a big fan. Let me get this camera focused down here. Uh, Jay Barker. I think we're going to come up here. Here, yeah, here's a Saban here. Um, just anybody that played for Alabama or was associated with the University of Alabama, he put in this binder. Um, so is there some good stuff in here? Yes, there is. I've actually marked the page right here. Let me get us there. So there are some patches and autos in here. So check this out. Um, we've got a, uh, Sean Alexander there, which we'll come back to that. Brody Croyle, uh, McLean, John Parker Wilson, which was a fairly popular Alabama quarterback. Um, who else we got? Uh, Ryan's, uh, a lot of AJ McCarron, Freddie Millens. So there's a couple of autos in here. Pretty good stuff. You know, uh, check this out. Check out the Sean Alexander card. This is a patch auto, which I think is going to be one of the more valuable cards here. Let me pull it out of here. Oh, it's got a certificate of authenticity as well. So maybe he signed this aftermarket. 
Uh, so Sean Alexander here. Uh, and check it out. There's a Bible verse on there. Psalms 37, verse 4. Boom. You know, I looked it up. Delight yourself in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. Pretty good one. Pretty good one right there. But anyway, I saw that Bible verse, and I was like, hmm, I wonder what that is. And so I read it and uh, thought it was worth mentioning in the video. So I've uh, seen his uh, his autograph, and he always puts that, that Bible verse there. So we'll set this aside as well. Um, so this is the uh, Alabama folder, as I said, um, which we've kind of looked at these cards now. Um, but it just goes on and on and on. More, you know, any any card that is in any way associated with Alabama, it's in this binder. There's a couple of other Alabama binders, but they... Um, oh, here's some basketball and some baseball. This is some collegiate cards. Here's some signed stuff back here. I don't know who this dude is. But there's a lot of autographs with this stuff, especially NASCAR autographs. So let's see here. <clears throat> this was like a 2012 upper deck set. Bro, there's bugs after me tonight. Get out of here, bro. Alabama players, NFL. I hadn't seen this, right? Here's some kind of checklist he was trying to run down. That's awesome. Very cool. So anyway, kind of weird. Bro, this bug, what? Gone. Um, this guy, uh, again, was a lifelong collector. Um, his sister said he kind of had a problem with collecting, but, you know, whatever. I guess maybe we all do. Um, but uh, he was really big into football and, of course, big into NASCAR. So let's take a, let's take a look at this NASCAR stuff. You're never going to believe this. Where is the... Um, well, here, let's... This is one of the NASCAR binders. This is kind of worth looking at. And then we'll get onto the good one that has all the autos in it. And I'm talking about this thing is loaded. So this is like a, uh, this, this binder is almost completely full of this 2009 press pass. So it appears to be a full set here. Is this numbered in any way? He, the way that some folks organize cards is just weird to me. Sometimes they do it by team. Sometimes they do it by player, or in this case, driver. Sometimes they do it by set number. Um, it's a little hit or miss, but all of the superstars in NASCAR, there's tons and tons of cars, uh, cards of them. Um, let's see. I marked some pages here. That's kind of cool. Check this out. Check this thing out, man. Look at that. Nine cards to make that huge image like that. Really cool. I just thought that was neat. And then let's see, what else did I mark back here? Oh yeah. So the, the second half of this binder is all Dale Earnhardt magazines associated with his death which was in 2001. I forgot that it was in 2001. Rough year for the nation. Real rough year in 2001, let me, let me tell you. But uh, all these magazines, a lot of Beckett magazines. I think there's a Sports Illustrated. Yep, here they are. Another Sports Illustrated. Some of them are going to be before his death, some after. Um, I don't know the value of these magazines, really. Um, but anyway... I thought it was kind of cool that they were in here and thought thought it would be neat to show you guys that. I'll have to look these up and see what the value is. And, man, these binders are just rough. Rough, to, hard to deal with, man. Hard to deal with. I hate, I kind of hate binders, to be honest with you. It's really tough to get the cards out. It takes a long time. They're heavy as shit. And uh, let me grab the binder that has the autographs. Hold on one second. I think I left it over here at my desk. All right, is this it? Yep, this is it. This is where it gets serious, folks. Look, feast your eyes on this thing, man. Wowza. All right, so this is just page one. I think there's 11 pages of autographs here. So who do we have? I mean, Danica Patrick in the middle. Now, some of these appear to be aftermarket autos. So like, in other words, this Danica, uh, th this card is also in this binder again without the autograph. So maybe he tracked her down at Talladega or something and got her to sign it. I don't, I don't know for sure. But a lot of these are pack inserted as well, such as this one and this one and this one. Um, you know, sign of the times. Jimmy Johnson. Um, who else we got here? Kurt Busch up here. Danica, of course, pretty popular autograph. I've sold some Danica cars before. But, you know, on and on it goes. I think there's 11 pages, maybe 12 pages of these autos. Just crazy, the scope of this. Let's see if there's a Dale Earnhardt Jr. auto in here, or even a Dale Earnhardt auto. That would be off the chain. I haven't spent a lot of time really digging into these. 
Um, man, I mean, it just goes on and on. You know, pretty wild stuff. Bobby Hamilton, Mike Skinner, Sterling Marlin. Man, Elton Sawyer. I'm trying to pick out names that I know. I'm not a big NASCAR guy. So here's a Jeff Gordon auto. Looks like an aftermarket auto. Um, Kerry Earnhardt. I guess that's maybe one of the Earnhardt brothers there. I'm not entirely sure. Billy Bigley. Um, so anyway, one of the guys uh, in the um, um, in the Discord is a big NASCAR guy. He likes to open NASCAR products, and so I sent him a couple photos of the stuff, and he was telling me stuff to grade, and um, definitely think I'll grade some of this NASCAR stuff. Other stuff will just be sold straight out, but again, a lot of it, I'm not sure how to handle these that are, uh, you know, not pack-inserted autos. Like, this is pack-inserted, you know, this does not appear to be, you know, how do we... Do we send it off for authentication? Well, here is a, man, here's a Jeff Gordon right there. That looks pack inserted, Jeff Gordon. That's pretty good. Here's a Del Jarrett pack inserted. So, uh, ooh, is that a Richard Richard Petty right there? Not pack inserted, but still Richard Petty. That's, uh, we know that name, right? I mean, my goodness, this is, uh, this is fantastic. This is an awesome collection. So these are all going to be non-pack inserted here. It looks like we're in the kind of out of the pack inserted section. But yeah, here, see, here's the Danica. Here's a lot of the Danica and other female drivers. But that's the signed card. But this one isn't signed, so I assume he he uh, had that done, tracked her down somewhere and got her to sign it. You know, here's one that's signed here. These are like drag cars. Here's some more signed stuff up here more autos yep so he was into all types of racing not only um uh, nascar but drag racing and also funny car racing um there's an auto here i mean just the scale of this collection it goes on and on and on and on and on oh there's some patches back here i had actually had not seen these here's another aftermarket auto or a through the mail auto here's the uh, patches and numbered cards here that's pretty cool. Dale Earnhardt Jr. patch. Race used car cover. Huh. I think there's going to be... Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, here we go. Look at all these patches. What is this? Race used lug nut. Bro, the lug nut card. You know? That's cool. Who knew? Is this tire? Are these tires over here? These are tires. Hot treads. Press pass getting creative with it. Panini, here's a Panini card here. Alex Bowman. Here's another Brickyard's Best Racing. This is some kind of like race used tire there. I mean, you got to give it, hand it to them for the creativity with the NASCAR cards. Pretty cool. Here's a die cut back here. Press pass got some pretty good looking cards at least. I don't know how valuable they are, but pretty neat. Nonetheless, uh, some refra refractory type cards here. That's cool. So, man, I don't know. Uh, I don't know enough about NASCAR to really figure. Oh, here's some select. Okay, NASCAR select. What year is this going to be? This might be uh, kind of cool. This is 2020 select. Okay, so this is fairly modern stuff. He was really still going hard, and even in 2020, opening NASCAR product. So that's pretty cool. These are some prisms, silver prisms. Are they prisms? Never mind, they're not prisms. I thought they looked a little refractory there. They do not, though. Haley Deegan. I know that name. It's her rookie. Okay, some Phoenix here. So some more modern stuff here added into this, this album. A couple of rookies. Tripod's giving me trouble today, boys. Anyway. Oh, here's some more Dale back here. Got got some Dale pages, boy. I love Dale. Dale on Dale. The Dale never stops, baby. NASCAR. Woo, Dale digger. No, can't stop, won't stop. Dale. What is this? A peel-off 
Okay, more Dale. Dale on Dale, Dale die cuts. Dale, don't stop Dale. Oh, number three, baby. You live forever in our hearts, Dale. Man, that was a shit ton of Dale, wasn't it? My goodness. Man, oh man. What a collection. All right, well, this is going to get us to the end of it here. But as you saw, I mean, we've got like, what? That was at least 10 pages or, you know, 10 or 12 pages of autos. Not to mention the other ones randomly dispersed through here. So, good stuff. And all these uh, relics, man. NASCAR relics. I guess those tires, I man, I bet you they carve those tires up into like a million little pieces to make these cards. But, I mean, super cool collection that I bought here. I really like it. Um, you know what, just for funsies, let's look at this, uh, let's look at this box that's got these die cuts, or sorry, not die cuts, but, uh, die cast cars in them. Why not? Kind of cool. Hot Wheels, I guess. So Jeff Gordon right there. Pretty cool. Let's look at these cards, see if there's anything of value here. Oh, empty top loaders, okay. What about these guys here, the stack of commons? So anyway, fantastic collection. I'm gonna have to learn NASCAR now. There's Richard Petty there. These look like kind of compressed past commons from 2010. Nothing crazy here. But, you know, it's worth looking at. See, there could be something interesting hiding in here. There was definitely a Brady Tom Brady hiding in a in a binder, so that was pretty cool. And a Jalen Hurts RPA, really dope as well. Here's a Dale Earnhardt Jr., a shiny one there, nice. Just dropped it. Uh, we'll call that light play, near mint. Okay. Pretty cool. Put Dale back there. A lot of Dale, a lot of Dale, a lot of Jeff Gordon. I'm with it. I happen to know both of those names, so that's a good sign. But uh, yeah, going to take some time and research to check out this whole collection. Um, anything else interesting? Let me see here. There's a lot of this promo material. Let's check these out. Check these out here. Let's move this, actually. Don't spill out the, the little cars. A lot of this, a lot of magazines, a lot of these things, which are, what are these here? Yeah, it's like these things that maybe you would hand to them to get them to sign. Some of them are signed, I've seen in some of these binders, but you know, it's just, it's the same one, like 40 of them stuck in there like it's a magazine, but it's really these, you know, little pieces of cardboard or whatever, little posters, I guess. A lot of that kind of stuff. Like here's a bunch of Tony Stewart ones right there. I don't know if those holding any value. See, these are all signed here by Kevin Harvick. This one is signed. Is the next one signed? No, it's not. So he had the top one signed, or at least one of them signed. You know, here's a Jeff Gordon one here. So I don't know. I don't know if there's any value in this stuff. This is this is autographed here. The Nesquik car, bro. Do you remember how good Nesquik was? I feel like kids don't drink Nesquik anymore. Nesquik was the bomb. Here's a signed magazine, a signed Beckett magazine. A lot of autographs. A lot of autographs. Beckett Racing. Bro, Beckett gonna make a magazine if they get a chance. Anyway, uh, this is the collection, guys. Um, still a lot of it here on the floor. I believe I've shown you the majority of the value. Um, but yeah, this stuff exists, you know, unfortunately collectors pass away sometimes and their collections get sold to a dude who's going to make a YouTube video about it. And, uh, but anyway, just wanted to put, put respect on this man's collection. He had a great collection. It's now in my hands. It'll, uh, some of these cars will be kept. I'm definitely keeping that Brady. Most of it will be sold though for others to enjoy. So Anyway, shout out to our man who was a fantastic collector, loved NASCAR, loved football, loved Alabama, and um, shout out to Sean, Sean Alexander. Let's hit the Bible verse one last time. 
Delight yourself in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. I appreciate you all. Please like and subscribe. Thanks a lot, everyone. Hope you enjoyed the video. Bye.